Aquarius, it's L here to do your love reading. It's going to be a daily love reading for each and every zodiac sign. So check your sun, moon, rising, check your person sign. Let's see. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from, oh, y'all ain't supposed to see that. All right. Let me take, let me get it, you know. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so where are we going to go first? So let's talk about what's going on for you in your love life. Oh, they say go here to the Sabilas first. All right, so what's going on in the Aquarius love life? All right, let's see. Thief. Ooh, this was somebody trying to get away with something. Melancholy. Mm, mm, mm. And pleasure seekers. So it looks like here there was somebody trying to get away with stealing your time your energy your essence just anything that you were giving the, okay so when a thief right doesn't give anything back they they come to take they see you have something valuable whether it's your time your energy your love just your devotion right a thief doesn't come to you know uh restore hang on one second guys i gotta all right there we are yeah, a thief doesn't come to, it's not an equal exchange. So you may be dealing with somebody who you were giving all this stuff to, your love, your time, your sex, your good nature. They weren't giving anything back. They were just taking a thief. You know, that happens in so many different aspects, so many different ways. Yeah, I can go in your purse or your wallet and take your money, but I can also just sit around you and just listen to all your good ideas. Um soak up all your good energy uh, all your good vibrations also you could just you know feed my ego that happens in so many different ways guys so make sure some you know make sure all relationships business platonic romantic make sure they are familiar make sure that they are mutually beneficial that's the way of life the exchange needs to happen it, it, like always i say here on the channel if you come to the reading and the reading resonates with you let the exchange happen whether it is you clicking the like button typing a comment down below donating to the channel let the exchange happen so that um energy is exchanged there so that there is a, a good vibration but whomever you were dealing with there is no exchange you were just giving or this could have been the person you know your your person uh it could be for the cross watcher you were just giving the aquarius was just taken it looks like somebody cut something off because we do have melancholy here so somebody feels this is also maybe somebody coming to a realization that somebody was a thief is a thief um and then you just kind of feel blah about it i mean you have a sense of emotion sentiment there but it's not like you're over the top, red hot, mad, and you want to go after them, nor are you super depressed and sad. It's just, it's almost like you're finding yourself in the middle about this. And the only way you feel that way is because you knew that this person was like that in the beginning. Maybe you overlooked red flags, you overlooked something. Yeah, conversation. Now somebody wants to converse with you. Uh, there was a conversation that you had with this person there was some finding out there was some truth either said there was something that came to light something was expressed was made known to you and you kind of went to a place of okay i know what i need to do or i know what i have to do and this could even been a person telling on themselves not even knowing that they were telling on themselves you just letting someone talk Pleasure seekers, you, you realize that somebody was just with you for what they can get. The fun, the dramatics, the theatrics, the energy. Soldier, yeah, you felt like somebody was just, you know, the love them, love them and leave them type. They're dedicated to themselves. They're dedicated to their work. They're dedicated to everything about self and nothing about anyone else. They're willing to have extreme argument especially next to conversation they're willing to have argument about their position they will argue their position so if you come to this person and say you selfish you you don't give 
you're this, you're that. They will argue their position. They won't apologize, concede, or try to make better. Let's see. What else do we have? Servant. Yeah, this person was used to you being so yielding, so giving, so ready to make it work. A yes woman, a yes man here. Not even that you were saying yes, you know, but more so just more, you were the person who was yielding. You were the person who was, was bendable. It's like the, the, uh, hangman. You were the person who would tie yourself up in knots and make this work. You would, you know, contort yourself. You would maneuver for this relationship. You make all kind of adjustments and changes and they were used to it. So this is what you were dealing with. Let's see if we can get something further here for this love reading. I, I feel like this is what you were dealing with. So this is past tense, you know, for some of you date. Okay. Meeting someone new. So some of you trying to get back out there, you're planning and setting a date. So you're dealing with somebody who was just coming to, you know, take your energy, your sex, your love, your whatever. They were not giving anything back. They will, you know, argue their position about how they are what they're bringing to the table which was nothing um some of you already meet somebody new you get him back out there paradise flipped out of the out of the deck happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other it looks like some of you are going to meet someone new and you're going to enjoy yourself you're going to enjoy one another it's going to be a lot of playfulness let's see a lot of joy I love this. The butterfly, very nice relationship evolving into the next phase. Healing the inner child. This person could be coming to you, this new person could be coming to you to offer healing, growth, you know, um, to, to show you how a relationship should evolve, how it should move to the next level. You're transitioning from being with a taker, someone who doesn't give, and you're going to someone who will meet you, will match you very nice mask not showing their true feelings hide personify pretend delude gaslighting that's possibly what you were dealing with in the past this is somebody this is the vibration that they showed up in they were really hiding that they had a lot of love for you i don't think they knew how to show love they didn't know how to receive love they didn't know how to give love all they knew how to do was take 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 this might have been a person who grew up in a survival type energy it was all about, you know, surviving, persevering. Um, yeah, whoa, you get so oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Okay. So we got these cards falling out of the, out of the deck. Love. Very nice. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness coming up again. Affection and attraction, abundance. You're going to keep a positive mindset because that is what you will manifest gratitude and bliss. And then we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. There's a surprise invitation meeting or hesitation. Some of you are hesitating before getting back out there, but it says get out there. You need to let go of some outdated thinking, maybe around dating, getting out there. Uh, replaying events over in your head this could even be someone from the past this is what they're doing they have outdated thinking they thought you'd always be there they thought you would always be the one to um hang around to be the servant to you know play the servant to them they're they're all you know they're all up in their head they're replaying the events that happened between the two of you there could have been another woman or man competition here look over your shoulder the other woman okay so that could have been what, you know, came in between you two. There's somebody who is in complete despair, not being able to cope with the fact that you're gone. You're not coming back. It is what it is. It's done outdated. They didn't want to change. They wanted you to change your disposition about what they were offering. They wanted you to accept it. They wanted you to, you know, um, accept less than. What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? They are cheap. 
a cheater. They could be having financial issues. They can't focus on love. Some of them want to say that they're maturing and they're not telling you their true intentions. We did have mask coming out. I don't know. This person could be in love with you. They don't know how to give love. They don't know how to receive it. So, you know, it's, it's a very immature energy, especially with pleasure seekers coming out. This is how they're showing up. Um, yeah, I knew it. I'm healing from my upbringing. We talked about that. Some of them was just like brought up in survival. I'm very insecure. They may come off as secure with themselves, in themselves, what they have, what they have to offer, but they're very insecure. They hide behind a lot of Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Things, a lot of material things. Uh, they still suffer from that little boy, little girl type of syndrome here. They haven't really grown up. You know, they got older. The pants got longer. The skirts got shorter but they are not grown individuals. They operate on a very immature level. They got, they're around a lot of people who are in that same vibration. Gold digger, they could be dealing with a gold digger. We didn't have the other woman showing up. Somebody's in their pocket. Someone is um, just, you know, juicing them, okay? They could even be trying to juice you, trying to be a gold digger to you. They wanted you to keep you around so they can get money from you. We, did, we do have thief here, they're stealing something. Some of your people want to tell you that I am leaving. So they could be leaving something behind a particular person, place or thing, or even a job here. Uh, they feel like they need to leave something. Okay. It could be toxic for them. You know, if, if you call text, I will answer. So they're putting the onus on you. Like if you call, uh, if you text, I'll answer. Um, this is like, um, you know, when your dog, messes in your house or messes up your house or does something you know bad in the home and you you chastise the dog for doing so not that you're beating the dog but you have to let the dog know this is not where you do that right and the dog kind of you know bends its head and it looks sad and maybe you put him outside on the patio for a while um that's your person's energy right now like they know they fucked up with you they know they messed up so it's like, well, if you call or you text, I'll answer because I don't, you know, I'm the dog out on the patio. I don't feel like I can come to you, you know, you let it be known. So, um, let's see what else do we have here? Yeah, I knew it. Forgive me. The person could be saying, forgive me. They did something. That's why they, that, that cassette came out there. They're over replaying it in their head, going over and over it what they did, what they said, what they didn't do. They may have told on themselves. Some of them are saying, I have to stay with my family. They could even be looking at their friends, a friend group as family. They could actually have a real family that they, they're saying they're gonna have to choose over you. And, and if that is your situation, you know that this person is still married. They're saying, please work with me. Some of your people are just saying, please work with me. They have a lot of growing to do, a lot of maturing, a lot of growth needs to happen within them. God knows if it will, I don't know. Uh, but I know while you're waiting, if you're still waiting for this person, please wait down at your local bar, talk to somebody different, get out there, date. And if you really want that person, they'll find you, okay? They'll find you down at the lobby bar, okay? Um, let's see. I'm happiest when I'm with you. I am dating other people, but I love you. So this is an energy where they're super confused. They add to the confusion. I have things I haven't told you. So it's like they add to the confusion. They create the confusion by being a pleasure seeker, bringing other people into the relationship. I'm dating other people, 
but knowing, knowing very well that they have this deep love for you. This is somebody who just wants to be confused. Okay. They create it. They add to it. This is them. This is us. Yep. This is type of, you know, this is, this is crazy too. You know, it's, um, it's taxing. It's tiresome, you know, and, and it's confusing. And I think this is a person who understands that if they keep you in confusion, you won't make a decision. Keep in mind, if you're ever confused, if you let's just take dating and romantic relationships off the table. If you were confused about whether to choose steak or chicken, I'm just so confused. I'm just so confused. You won't make a decision. You just sit in confusion. And that's where this person wants you. They want you sitting in confusion. I'm so confused. Do they love me or do they not? They said they love me, but then they're dating other people. But then I, I called them on a dating website, but they said it. They know you won't go anywhere. You will not make a decision in confusion. So this person, you know, they add to the confusion. This is what they do. This is a master manipulator. I'm, sh I'm surprised that didn't come out. Um, let's see who you're dealing with. This is absolutely a waste of my time. Um, it's a waste of my time because, you know, I just feel like we've had this reading before and this person needs to grow up and some of you may have chosen to entertain this person once more and you got the same thing. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that you understand this is something you don't control. This is an energy that this person has to go on their own and want to change. And I hope that you, you get to a place where you can really leave this alone. And if it is meant for you, it will find you. Other than that, you know, we, we still get the repetitive, you know, I love you, but I'm dating other people type of energy. I'm so confused. Therefore, I want you to be confused. Therefore, I don't want you to leave. Therefore, I don't want you to make any decision outside of me. It's just asinine at this point. You could be dealing with a twin flame. You know, and maybe that's why the journey is so up and down. It's such a roller coaster. And it's only that way because most times in twin flame journeys, one person is choosing the journey. The other person is not. You're the runner and the chaser. We, we see, you know, see clear as day. All right, let's see. New love. That's what I'm talking about. Get some new love in here. Get some new blood in here. You know, if this person smells new blood, new love in the water, maybe they will change. Maybe that will prompt something in them. It's not that you're going to go get somebody to make your person that you really want change. I hope that you wouldn't use anyone like that. But it's more so about, look, I can't be in the energy of waiting for you to change. If nothing changes, then nothing changes. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change. I'm going to go out here. I want to talk to who I want to talk to. I want to date who I want to date. I'm going to see who I want to see. Even if I don't find anybody, I'm just going to be in the energy of taking care of me. I'll date myself. True love is here. Dating queen. Some of y'all saying, fuck this shit. I'm out. You know, I'm going to go date. I'm going to go have a good time. You might even find a true love. I think some of you are dating while you know who your true love is. Um, it could dissipate. It could turn. You could change your mind about this true love, especially if you find somebody that, you know, gives your true love a run for his money or her money. You could have been dating somebody who was dating so many other different people. They were just after you for money. Gold digger did come out. She's got all these guys giving her gifts and money and, you know, things of that nature. You were dating somebody who had a lot of options who were keeping you, who was keeping you as an option also. Okay, making up gifts came out. They that's all they wanted you for. They saw that you were a mature man, well into your career, well into your financial stability. Maybe you've been married before, you have children. Um, and they were like, you know what? Uh, you can pay. Yeah, you got it. Come up off of it. Cause I want it. And that's who you were dealing with, especially if you're a masculine Aquarius. Even if you're in the same sex relationship, someone was looking at you in that vibration. You could have gray hair. You could be going gray, going bald. If you're a man, um, you're just in the energy. Some of you are in energy. Well, hell, I'll pay for it. I don't care. Yeah, some of you have a family or you had a family and maybe you're keeping this thing on the side. 
or you, you know that you're dealing with a gold digger, you know you're dealing with somebody that's only dealing with you because you have money, because you have resources. That might be the arrangement that you're in also. Past love. There's a past love trying to resurface, show back up. They want to heal this hurt, heartbreak, this... I heard headache. Shit. Yeah. They could be a headache. You could be a headache. You both can be a headache to each other. I don't know. Um, somebody wants to heal it, though. Let's see. Yeah. Somebody getting karma. Fun times. Somebody played with. Somebody was out here. They left with a karmic because it was fun times. Yeah, they left with this karmic energy thinking that, you know, I, I'll just have fun. I'll just date around. It is what it is. Um, some relationship could have been karmic where there was something for you to learn. You know, it was fun times with this person. There was also a lesson, a life lesson. For some of you, this could have been a karmic. So this isn't a lasting relationship. This is it maybe it was something for the short term. Whoa, I just flipped that and it said short term. It came into your life to show you what it is you should not accept. And then it was for you to break up. Because it was like, okay, it's to show you what you don't want. So that you can then attract the energy, the vibration of what you do want. What you do deserve. It was, you see that turns into a clock. It's really a clock. It was for the short term. It had an expiration date. Hey, you know, the clock was going to run out on this. The universe may have put obstacles in the way of you and someone else so that there can be maturity on both sides. You need to do your own thing. You need to learn your own lesson. They need to learn theirs. Somebody needs to mature. We did have maturing come out. Let's leave Aquarius with some advice here. Okay, this card fell on to the flow. Let's see. Start something new, Empress. That's something new. You know, this is the summertime in your life, Aquarius, for some of you. This is a time where the universe, the sun, is really shining bright on you. There is visibility. You're going to be very attractive to someone. You can attract a, a marriage partner. You can attract the relationship that you really want, that you deserve. Um, you're going to be in an energy of abundance, beauty, creation, fertility, six of pentacles. You could attract somebody who's willing ready and willing to give you know you wash my back i wash yours you know type of energy generosity what is the energy okay the cards are upside down all right okay all right so the shuffle again all right let's see um what is the advice the knight of cups so some of you definitely could be meeting someone who it's going to be very gentleman-like or lady-like. They're trying to make you fall in love. Um, don't get caught up too caught up in the newness of a relationship. Some of you are going to be doing a lot to find somebody new. You know, and that could be good. That could be bad. You know, let it come to you. Um, some of you have unrealistic expectations in love, you know, to where it never really surpasses the newness never wear the newness never wears off because it doesn't last relationships don't last with you none of these cards should be in reverse temperance in reverse some of you need to get your life together you're not getting your emotional life together you don't have emotional balance you're gonna jump back out there and try to date and try to find a date you aren't over some hurt or some disposition that somebody put you in. Yeah, you know, some of you are going to reconcile or you want to reconcile with someone from your past, someone who disappointed you greatly. Could be a feminine energy. It's like you want to find somebody new, but you also are still pining over, waiting for, thinking about, wanting reunion with, wanting reconciliation with someone from your past. Four of Cups, and it might be coming out of a place of self-centeredness, ego. You need to meditate. You need to think about this before you jump into the energy of, I want this person back. Could be a Cancer, yet Cancer, Aries showing up. What else? The advice, King of Cups. 
So it's like you need to get in control of your emotions. The temperance card is directly related to the king of cups and the temperance came in reverse. There's no wealthy, no healthy, no happy union here between you and someone else that you want reconciliation with. It's, it's emotional manipulation. It could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces and Scorpio highlighted in the King of Cups. Also a male Libra. It's like somebody is in a cardinal energy of, you know, uh, they're all over the place, but they know where they want to be. So you may be dealing with someone that type of energy. Yeah. They're all over the place. Three of Swords. They're in heartbreak all over the place. Five of Wands. They got all these different people that they date or see or that they keep up all these different energies with. The King of Cups keeps his exes around just to pull from their energy to feed his ego, stroke his ego, keep ladies around, keep men around, whatever. Um, you're some, somebody that does have a big love for you because I love you came out. But they're really good at dealing with a lot of energetic personalities excuse me not not a lot of energy they're they're really good at dealing with a lot of personalities and that's why they're the king of cups because they can pull from any emotion at any given time to deal with all these different personalities therefore they have all these different uh, people that they're dating seeing it's not a headache to them for some people to have all these different people that they got to talk to and deal with and get to know and what's your favorite color and you, oh you like that restaurant and oh this and this it would be a headache for some people or it would be you know it would be a task it would be daunting but for this king of cups no he has the capacity to deal with that therefore he does or therefore she does So they had a capacity to deal with all these different energies, even though that they know they have a real singular love for one particular person. Confusion. Mass confusion. What is, what is the closing advice for Aquarius? 26 minutes. Okay. Knight of Swords. Looks like somebody's coming back from the past. They want to pull you back in. They're determined. Determination coming out. They want to have the last word. They want to have the final say. They want the plan is to get you back. Okay. They know that they're losing you. They can't feel your energy anymore. They want to pull you back in. This is somebody who's weary of commitment. They're not sure of it. Um, they don't know how to do it. You know, you know, just don't know how to be committed. Um, but they know they don't want to lose you. If you feel like that is romantic, if you're saying, oh, the Knight of Swords, the plan is to get you back. That is it. There's no plan. There's no semicolon. There's no comma. It's just to get you back. Yep. And complete silence after that. This is, I just want you to come back. You know, this person wants to come out of this. This destitution. This despair. They don't like the fact that you're ignoring them. Or not acknowledging them. Or not giving them the time. The energy. The servant type energy that you used to give. You know. They can't feel you intuitively at this point and they need that too is like this is codependency they may thrive off of your energy they may even manifest off your energy you say something to this person and it just really brightens them and it puts them in a place of believing that they are better than they really are god damn it you're dealing with somebody who has got low self-esteem um they lack confidence you but they you would never know it because it's a pseudo type of uh, energy surrounding them or pseudo type of you know masculinity or femininity femininity uh, about this person ain't nothing about them real and, and they see with you everything is real and transparent they wish that they could be you they wish that they can come off in that vibration but they're so used to being pseudo fake not real and with you and with your energy it's like they you know, it, it's it's abundant. It's uh, full of light. You know, it's positive. You can manifest from this. They don't like dealing with people like themselves. Five of Swords, yeah. They don't want to suffer a defeat also. They feel like you leaving them, you not talking to them is, is defeat. This is a person who looks at love relationships like win, lose, draw. And they ain't trying to lose. Uh, 
Okay, we'll go here and then we'll close it out. This is, I don't know, I don't like it, but whatever. I'm just reading the cards. What is this about for Aquarius? Yeah, peace comes from within. Don't seek it without. Somebody just not peaceful. Ain't no peace in their life. This is somebody who stays on the phone constantly, needs company constantly, needs stimulation constantly because the silence speaks volumes. In the silence, there is truth and they don't like silence. And they definitely don't like silence from you because it's speaking the truth to them that they ain't shit and they're not worth your conversation. They're not worth your energy. Not until they grow, until they mature, until they come with something better. You are spiritually connected to those you love. Yeah, you are. I mean, do what you will with that energy. What is, what is this? The more love and care you give yourself, the more love you have to give to others. I mean, it, it just makes sense, right? If you, if you keep increasing your knowledge base by learning, reading books, sitting under people who, you know, experts or whatnot, you cr increase your knowledge, you know, base, then you have more knowledge to give to other people, right? So it's the same thing here. If you give more love to yourself, you got more love to give to others. Some of you just, you just keep throwing love at everything, everybody, people that just don't even deserve it. Turn that shit around and give it to yourself. I told you. You need to start telling people, meet me at the lobby bar, okay? And the only way you, when you, when you meet me down here, I'm going to hand you my drink tab. Because you, you, sir, or you, ma'am, you deserve to pay for this. Because you have been out of order for way too long. Stop just giving. Turn it off. Shut it down. Close it out. The hottest love has the coldest end. Yeah, so you just, it was hot. It was going good. You know, it was great. But now it's time to let this stuff in because, um, I mean, it's just time. End doesn't mean, this could even be end semicolon, end comma. It could be that you pick back up once there is healing, maturation. But not a minute, not an hour, not a second before. Like this is you can't you can't keep going back to this. They're they're not going to change. Not with you around. Take your energy and go somewhere else. Take it somewhere else. And you might even find someone else. That might be your person. It might not be. Guess what? You'll never know unless you go. Start telling, meet me at the lobby bar. That's where the fuck I'm at. Okay, no, I'm not at home waiting for you to call me or to text me to meet you here. Or you coming over? No, I'm out. I'm in the world. Okay, goodbye. Your life does not get better by chance, but it gets better by change. Can't make this stuff up. You just said, you know, you need to change. You need to make some change happen. All right, Aquarius, I hope that you got something from this reading. If you did, let me know what you got from this reading down in the comment section. Let the energy exchange happen. We talked about the energy exchange. If you can't afford to donate to the channel, then you can always click the like button. You can let me know down in the comments. How did this, you know, resonate for you? Um, thank you. Many blessings to you. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do a collective reading. Then you can ask questions. If you have a question right now, I mean right now, you can text it to the number below. You can also go over to the website and just book your own full reading there. You can just drill down on all the stuff you want to drill down on. Uh, but before you go to the website, go here, YouTube, click the community tab on my channel, grab a discount code, and then head over to the website and book your reading there. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.